Just a few months back, I made a video on creating a satisfying glass animation in Blender. And the best part is that you guys provided so much love into the video that this video is now the most popular video on the channel. Also, this video is a step up from the previous tutorial. And so without wasting enough time, let's jump into the video. So we will start with a very new project and so delete the default cube and the light source. Then after that, add a torus mesh into the viewport, which is followed by a curved circle and an empty plane axis. Now selecting the empty plane, add an object constraint called follow path. Select the Bezier circle as the target object and insert a keyframe on the first frame with an offset value of 0 and uh, for the 241st frame, add an offset value of 100. Now select the Bezier circle and go to its transform properties. Now we will animate the Y and Z axis rotation of the Bezier circle. So change the Y axis rotation to 360 degrees and insert keyframe in Y and Z axis. Just do the opposite for the 241st frame. Now select the torus mesh, add a simple deform modifier and duplicate it. Enter the angle value to 360 and 200 respectively. Change the axis to Z axis. Select the origin as the Bezier circle in both the cases. Add a subdivision surface modifier and set the angle value to 4. After that, apply shade smooth. Now we will rotate the X and Y rotation of the torus mesh. So we will use the same process which we used for the Bezier circle. Switch the render engine from EV to Cycles, select CPU or GPU, enter viewport and render max samples to 32 and 128 in curl management, set look to very high contrast and view transform to standard. Reduce the color to all the way black in world properties. Add a plane mesh to the viewport and move it upwards in Z axis. Go to the top view and uh, scale the plane mesh. Select the camera and press Ctrl, Alt and 0 to align it to the main scene. Increase the focal length to 190mm and reduce the Y axis location value to minus 27m. Duplicate the area light and move it downwards in Z axis. Now select both the planes and rotate them. Select the plane mesh and uh, add an emission shader material in it. Use the same shader for uh, all the three rest of the plane meshes. Select the torus mesh and add a new material. Move the principal BSDF shader. Add a mix shader and uh, join it to material output. Add a glass BSDF shader and uh, duplicate it two times. Add one more glass BSDF shader and uh, join it to mix shader. Add an add shader node and uh, join it to the mix shader. Duplicate the add shader node one more time and then after that join all the nodes similarly as shown in the video. Make sure to follow each of the steps so that you get a satisfied result. Change the color of the glass shaders to RGB, red, green and blue. Change the IOR or index of reflection of the glass shaders. Add a freshener load and uh, join it to the mix shader. Come to full screen layout and uh, press Ctrl plus B to select the render region. Now let's render out the image to see the final output. Now here is my render setting for the animation. Go with the same resolution and uh, select frame rate value to 30 fps. 
select your desired location where you want the output of the file to be. Select the file format as FFmpeg video, container as MPEG4, and output quality to perceptually lossless. And after that, render out the animation. If your computer keeps crashing multiple times, I would suggest to go for PNG image sequence. The process is almost same. Just select the file format as PNG and the color type to RGBA and color depth to 8 bit or 16 bit and reduce the compression to 0%. And after that, render out the animation. Thank you so much to everyone for watching the video. If you found the video useful, do drop a like, subscribe the channel and don't forget to add your valuable comment. Hope to see you all in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.